this kit can only run in MPC 2.10 software. Welcome, this is Masada from CycleKit.com. I want to introduce you to CycleKit 5. What makes this kit different from all my other kits or any other kit in the world? Various new technologies that's been employed in MPC 2.0 software. I want to go through, demo the functionality of this kit. All right, so say on this pad here, you have a hi-hat. But I want you to pay close attention to what it is I'm doing. I'm pressing it, I get a sound, and when I let my hand up, I also get a sound. Every time I lift my finger off the pad, I get a different articulation of that sound to make it sound more like a real percussion, real drum, real hi-hat, whatever else like that. Not just static, like one sample as you get with most other kits. All right, for example, on this time here, I also use the new note on functionality. Let me uh, demo that for you. Notice, I press the pad, I get a sound. I bring my finger up, I also get a sound. Also with these drum rolls, depending on the amount of time I hold my finger on the pad, you get a different variation of that pass. Like it's a lot more instinctive, intuitive. See? And also that roll is also synced to the tempo of uh, your project. Now, I didn't only apply this to just like percussions or hi-hats or times. I, re I applied this throughout the kit. You're going to sometimes hear it on a snare. You're going to sometimes hear it on a, a drum. I mean, everywhere. I just went crazy with it. I applied those effects to some drums. brings that randomness. It just makes your stuff sound that much more unique. I have some hi-hats, some open hi-hats here. So I press the pad, I get one sound. I release the pad, I get another. So as you can see, depending on how long I touch the pad, I get a different articulation. So that's basically like having multiple pads across your, your MPC, across your bank, condensed down to one pad. We have a shaker here. Again, notice, I press the pad, I get one sound. I bring my finger up, I get another sound. I let it up, I get another sample. Now, how does that work? Now, when I, I can combine them and make that long or short, like. So here's two more examples of how I apply that effect to vocals. In this kid, I definitely try to be very original. So it's not going to be basically like the regurgitated things you always get. So I definitely try to do some different things. Like like I took a drum kit here and I combined a regular hi-hat with a reverse hi-hat, you know? You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's just different right there. 
and they're using the same on off technology so every time I touch the pad I touch the pad I get one sound I let my hand up I get a reverse sound so here's another example of how I tried to do some really original sound designing so here on this pad here I have a, uh, a hi-hat so when I touch the hi-hat I'm going to get a regular hi-hat sound but as I lift my finger up you're going to get a whisper so basically I call this the whispering hi-hat so it's basically talking to you so this the hi-hat and you get another sound but on top of that sound you're getting a whisper somebody saying something it's basically saying you know don't you so I want to give you another example of how I took uh, and applied this new technology to just drums so you have this snare here I touch it I get a regular snare sound let my hand up I get a vocal kick I touch it, I get a kick. I let my hand up, I, I'm gonna get a, a vocal. And you know, you just gotta play around with the kit. The kit is surprise you. Randomly, you will just see something happen. Like, like say this hi hat right here. This hi hat will just randomly do these weird little like um, jungle effects. Also, oddly enough, in this kit, I I included these two sounds. Basically, like they're kind of loops, but they're tempo match. So no matter what tempo you're on. These uh these loops will will sync with your project. So a lo-fi like tambourine, and this is like a SWAT type, you know, hi hat. So MPC 2.10 added a long requested feature called Portamento. This will allow you to take say 808 or whatever and glide them into the next sound. Uh, we hear it all over the radio, all over modern records. So, and this sound is taken from uh, Akai S950, the sine wave. <laughs> I mean, this was used on many hit records back in the day. So I took that and uh, you know I beefed it up a little bit, and you know I'm handing it up to you guys. And I know y'all gonna make some fire. You can find this new uh, portamento feature feature by going into the program edit. You're gonna want to go over to the porta mod tab, and here you're gonna set your portamento. You got your legato. You can quantize it or not. In this kit, in each one of the three parts, I've included vocal. This brings us to another new feature in 2.10 that's been highly requested. Let's go to warp samples. It now tells us the key of the sample. It also kind of works similar to Serato sample where we can just go here and adjust the sample based on the key. So as we tune it, notice the key is changing. So if you have a sample and you're trying to match the key, this is how you would do that. MPC 2.10 added another feature that's not widely discussed, but is a it's very powerful. I would suggest that you kind of copy my settings here, and then you can play around as you want. Then you go to the depth, and as you can hear, you get more attack onto that sound. But say that's if I don't want more attack, I want that sound to have more heft, more substantial. I just go in the opposite direction. Hear that? So I want to talk about another feature uh, included in 210. So we go here to menu, we go to program edit, we go to the effects tab, press that twice. Now these are the new pad effects. So what these do now, these essentially allow you to customize your sound to your liking. We have various effects in here. So we have ring mod, bit crush, disseminator, tube, soft uh, clipper, Hard clipper, low pass, high pass, a rectifier, and bass E uh, 
type uh, medium and wide and a wave folder and gain. 